Hello, YouTube community. It's Robert S. And welcome back to Rob Skewer Music. In today's episode of the Not So Great Eight, which was formerly known as Eight I Hate. However, the word hate, and I mentioned it in my first video, the word hate seems a little strong for what I had intended to do. So I'm changing it to the Not So Great Eight. Uh, anyway, in today's episode, I want to talk about what I feel are really bad band names. Now, I was thinking about doing something like this, and I had read something about some band names that were bad, and then I happened to see that Glenn Kellaway posted a video yesterday, um, basically about the good, the bad, and the ugly, and he talks about bad band names, and he talks about good band names. So apparently, uh, Glenn, you know, great minds think alike. And I said, okay, you know, I'm still going to do this video, even though it, it seems like I'm, I'm coming on the heels of Glenn. And honestly, I had put together my list already, and there was only one band name that we actually had, both had on our lists. So let me dive right into it. Um, again, this is the not so great eight terrible band names. And the first one, I'm going to mention is one that Glenn also mentioned, and it's a band that was called The The. That's it, The The. Um, so if if you've ever thought that the, the, um, the group called The Band was lazy in naming their, their group, Please remember, there is a British band that's been active since the 80s that took it laziness a step further and called themselves The The. They didn't even want to think of a second word. The The. Dumb. Uh, number two, and along the same sort of lines, we have a group called Mr. Mr. M R period M I S T E R. Now, I, I suppose they thought they were clever. It just sounds childish. And again, it's um, a lazy approach to naming your band, in my opinion. Uh, number three on my list. <clears throat> Huberstank. Huberstank. That just sounds gross. That is what I imagine a homeless man's feet smell like after he takes his shoes off at the end of a long, hot summer day. You, you don't name your band like something like that. Uh, and, and they did have... In the early 2000s, they had a hit with a song called The Reason. So you, you want to say to them, you named your band Huberstank. What was the reason? Terrible, terrible name. Number four on my list. Pornos for Pyros. Okay, now I'll admit there are probably people who get excited over arsonists setting fire. But you don't use that as the inspiration to name your band. I'm sorry, you, you just don't. Number five on my list, group called Nickelback. Now, the story goes that the uh, lead singer was having difficulties naming his band so he went to his brother for some help and his brother worked at starbucks and 
apparently coffee at the time cost a dollar ninety five so any customer who paid with two dollars got a nickel back when it comes to nickel back i want to say keep the change i mean I suppose we should be grateful that they weren't called Blonde Roast or Grande Iced Vanilla Latte with Soy Milk. Um, dumb band name, dumb. Uh, next, number six, Matchbox 20. Um, were, were Matchbox 1 through 19 taken? Bad, bad band name, in my opinion. Number seven, Puddle of Mud. And if you know the band, you'll notice it's spelled M-U-D-D. -D. Why did they need the extra D? I don't know. Why do they even need the word of? Just call yourself Mud Puddle. <laughs> Pull out that extra unnecessary word. Still would have been a bad band name, though. <laughs> but whatever. And then finally, number eight in my not-so-great eight band names is a group from the 60s. And this is a band called The Cufflinks. And... They had a hit in 1969 with the song called Tracy, and I love the song. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, or many of you my, my age are familiar with it. But, um, you know, why, why name yourselves after a seldom worn men's accessory? You know, they could have called themselves the tie tacks or the collar stays or top hats. Uh, but anyway, the cufflinks, not a good name. So there it is, my list of um, band names that are not so great. So I, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. If there are some band names that you think I could have included on this list, please put those in the comments below. Uh, if you've already subscribed to this channel, thank you. If you have not, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to get to 150 subscribers. Um, just need a, a couple more. So tell your friends about this. And um, that's it. So as I always say, stay well. And remember, if the music strikes a chord, let it play.